Good evening. This is Mary Ellen McKay, Chair of the City of the Nashua Zoning Board of Adjustment. And this is the November 22nd, 2022 Zoning Board meeting. This evening's meeting will be conducted in a hybrid format. The meeting is accessible in person, the third floor auditorium of the Nashua City Hall at 229 Main Street and via Zoom at the link posted in all public meeting agendas. Attendance via telephone is available <coughs> using the Zoom connection details. The meeting can be streamed through the city's website, nashuanh.gov. If anyone has a problem accessing the meeting, please call 603-589-3056 and they will help you connect. In the event the public is unable to access the meeting via the methods mentioned above, the meeting will be adjourned and rescheduled. The chair is in control of the meeting. To the extent practicable and advisable, the board will follow the procedures as identified in its bylaws. The applicant will present their case followed by questions by the board. Next, persons wishing to speak in favor or with questions or opposition will be asked to speak. If there are questions or opposition, the applicant will have five minutes to present a response. Finally, one and only one person with questions or an opposition will be permitted to speak again before the board deliberates and determines an outcome. All participants should endeavor to comply with the time frames of 15 minutes maximum for the applicant and five minutes each for anyone wishing to speak in favor or in opposition or with questions. Um, our zoning board coordinator, Kate Poirier, will be in <coughs> charge of the time and she will keep us all apprised of how well we're doing. Please note that all votes that are taken during this meeting shall be done by a roll call vote. Tonight we will be hearing requests for deviations from the Nashua zoning, zoning Code in the form of a variance. Is there a special Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We're reading two different forms. And so, we will be hearing applications for a special exception and or a variance. A special exception is a request that seeks permission to do something that the zoning ordinance permits only under special circumstances. To grant a special exception, five points of law are required to be met. These are outlined in the application and will be summarized in board motions. A variance is a request that seeks permission to do something the ordinance does not permit. Variances also have five points of law to be met that are different from those for a special exception. For the City of Nashua bylaws and State of New Hampshire revised statutes, a minimum of three or more affirmative votes are required to approve any application. In addition, this board will hear all scheduled cases if a quorum of three voting board members is present at this meeting. Any citizen has the right to contest the decision that this board makes. Should we make a decision that you believe is an error, you have the right to request a rehearing. A written rehearing request must be received by the City of Nashua Planning Department within 30 calendar days from the date of the decision. Should this board not grant a rehearing request, you can file an appeal directly to the New Hampshire Superior Court. Please contact Mr. Falk at the Planning Department for more information. For this meeting, we have the following board members in attendance. Mr. Steve Lionel, who's our vice chair. Mr. Jack Currier, our clerk. Mr. J.P. Boucher, Mr. Rob Shaw. Myself, Mary Ellen McKay, who is the chair. And we also have Mr. Josh Neely, who is our alternate this evening. We also have Mr. Carter Falk, our deputy planning manager, and Ms. Kate Poirier, our zoning coordinator. And we will now take a roll call for attendance. Mr. Lionel. Present. Mr. Courier. Mr. Courier is present. Mr. Boucher. Present. Mr. Shaw. Present. Mr. Nahili. Present. And myself, Mary Ellen McKay, I'm also present.
And since we have four regular members, or five regular members, unless a regular member requests a recusal, we will be the five voting members this evening. Mr. Falk, are there any changes to the agenda? No, there are not. Thank you. I will now read the first case. Robert Bonapane, I hope I said that correct. Owner, Carrie Orlandi applicant, 171 Cypress Street, Sheet E, Lot 963, requesting special exception from land use code section 190-16E3, table 16-2 for a minor encroachment to encroach an additional two feet into the 30 foot required rear yard setback in addition to a one foot encroachment already approved by the ZBA for a total encroachment of three feet for a 14 by 50 accessory dwelling unit attached to the rear of the house. Special exception was approved for the accessory dwelling unit and for a one foot encroachment for 12 by 50 addition on August 23rd, 2022. This is in the R9 zone in Ward 1. Is there someone here to present this application. Please step forward and state your name and address for the record. Uh, good evening, uh, members of the board. Uh, my name's Kerry Olandy. <laughs> I'm representing Mr. Bob uh, Bonapane, who's a relative, and I'll be the uh, builder for the property. Uh, we were asking for an additional uh, two feet because we have wanted to add the um, bathroom to be an ADA bathroom so that the wheelchair could turn around. Uh, Mr. Bonapane's brother is uh, wheelchair bound as well. Thank you. You may proceed. Uh, what all. else did you oh, want? that's it? <laughs> that's, that's it, fine. yes. Okay. <coughs> that was simple. Um, does anyone have any questions? Okay, seeing none. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Does anyone here present wish to speak in favor of this application? I see there's nobody on Zoom. Is there anyone here who wishes to, to speak with questions, comments, concerns, or opposition to this application? Seeing none, I'm gonna close the public hearing and open the public meeting. Just a quick I didn't know, was the Zoom, did we lose the Zoom? I think the computer crashed. Oh. I, I thought it was on. It was on earlier. It was on earlier, that's why I asked. Yeah. I was trying to show the plans and it just crashed. I don't know contained in your package at the very least. Did anybody notice if, was there anybody on Zoom? I, I didn't, didn't see anybody. I, I don't even see. Okay. That's good to know. All right. Everything looks good from the TV perspective. Yeah. They just can't see it. Nobody else, is, nobody else was on Zoom. No. So, at least from the public. Yeah, right. That's okay. Important. That's great. He can see it all in there. Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, that's what he was, he was. But I think we can proceed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lovely. Josh. Adding the extra square footage on for the ADA compliant bathroom is a, a great reason for that extra uh, square footage. Uh, having seen the property. Um, and where it's located compared to his neighbors. I, I really think it's, it's not going to uh, affect the neighborhood at all. I think it's gonna be a great uh, addition to that, to that uh, property. It will, it will not be contrary to public interest. And um, certainly it's within the spirit and intent of the ordinance, so I would be in favor of this application. Thank you. Mr. Shaw. Uh, yeah, I was you know, mostly wanted to understand what the change was. I think it's <coughs> clear, it's a, a very good reason why the, the additional uh, depth of the addition was uh, requested. 
and it's still uh, even it's still a relatively minor encroachment. It's a 10 percent encroachment of you know, three feet of a 30 foot setback, and uh, yeah, I also believe that it won't have any significant impact on on the neighborhood. So I'm in support. Thank you, Mr. Boucher. I'm in support of the application uh, for reasons stated by my fellow board members. Thank you. Mr. Courier. Uh, I'm also in support for the reasons stated by uh, Mr. Mahili and Mr. Shaw. Mr. Lionel. I'm also in support for the reasons stated by my colleagues. And I, Mary Ellen McKay, I'm also in support for the aforementioned reasons. Um, would somebody care to make a motion? Mr. Shaw, thank you very much. I'd like to make a motion on behalf of owner uh, Robert Bonapine, uh, Carrie Orlandi, uh, applicant, 171 Cypress Lane, Sheet E, Lot 963. Request is for a special exception from Land Use Code Section 190-16E3, Table 16-2 for a minor encroachment to encroach an additional two feet into the 30-foot required rear yard setback, in addition to a one-foot encroachment already approved by the ZBA for a total encroachment of three feet for a 14-foot by 50-foot accessory dwelling unit attached to the rear of the house. The special exceptions approved for the ADU and for a one-foot encroachment for a 12 by 50-foot addition on 8-23-2022. This is in the R9 zone. Uh, the, um, the variance, uh, sorry, the, um, the special exception uh, is listed in the table of uses, as I had just noted, uh, that there will not be any uh, creation of undue traffic uh, congestion uh, or unduly impair pedestrian safety. Uh, it will not overload public water drainage or sewer or have any other negative impacts on the municipal systems. The special use regulations uh, are fulfilled, and uh, this will not impair the integrity uh, or be out of character with the neighborhood. It will not be detrimental to the health, morals, or welfare of the residents. Uh, and for those reasons, I uh, move to approve this special exception. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Mr. Boucher. Mr. Shaw, how do you vote? Uh, Mr. Shaw votes in favor. Mr. Boucher, how do you vote? Mr. Boucher votes in favor. Mr. Courier, how do you vote? Mr. Courier votes in favor. Mr. Lionel, how do you vote? Mr. Lionel votes in favor. And myself, Mary Ellen McKay, I also vote in favor. That is five affirmative votes. Congratulations, your variance has been granted. Um, as we will let people know all evening, anyone has the option to challenge any decision made by this board. They can appeal, they have 30 days with which to do so. Um, should you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please re-refer back to the planning department to either Mr. Carter Falk or Ms. Kate Warrior. Thank you for your presentation. Um, uh, good luck and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Case number two. Shannon Melanson, owner, 45 Langholm Drive, Sheet C, Lot 406. Requesting variance from Land Use Code Section 190-264 for accessory use area, 40% permitted, 75% existing, 77% requested to construct a 14 by 16 pool cabana onto rear of existing detached garage. This is in the R9 zone, Ward 9, this has been was tabled from 9-14-22. Is there someone here to present this application? Yes. Would you please come to the podium and state your name and address for the record? Shannon Melanson, 45 Lang Home Drive. Curtis Vancelet, 45 Lang Home Drive. Thank you. And if it's easier for you, you can take the mic out and just hold it. Because of the recording, they need to hear your voice. I'll be louder. Okay. The floor is yours. Uh, we've, we've, we've been through um, several meetings here already about this. Um, we had a land survey done because there was question of where the border was. As far as offsets, um, we've determined per that survey that we do meet all of the offsets. 
that it won't be an encroachment of anybody's property as far as that goes. Um, there was a question as far as the overhang that we have on the side of the garage being part of land usage. We've agreed to remove the overhang to eliminate that amount of space of land usage. Um, they've also asked that we not get it, the original plan was for 16 by 16. They've asked us to knock it down to 14 by 16. We've also agreed to do that. Um, we're basically looking for a place that our guests can go and change and not have to worry about getting our home all wet with all their swim stuff. Um, there's been, there was a problem in our bathroom in the basement with mold due to moisture being accumulated over the summer. We're trying to eliminate that. Um, we've had people get sick from the mold and again, we just, we don't want that inside the home. This way here, it's detached from the home, it's outside. Um, I'm not gonna be putting sheetrock up, at least not in the foreseeable future, just so that it can not have anywhere to trap the moisture. Um, that's basically why we're doing this and we're hoping to be able to make it a, a more pleasurable environment for us at home. Do we have any questions? And excuse me, there was something that I had to take. It was in okay. kind of an emergent situation. Mr. Lyon. Yeah, um, there was, the, the, are, are you agreeing to remove that overhang? Did yes, you, sir. Did you say that? Okay. That, that'll open up some of the land usage space so that we're not so high on the land usage. Okay. Has that been done yet? It, ha or it has not. It has not, okay. Um, that would be done if this gets approved. So you would be okay with a stipulation in the um, in the approval that that overhang be removed? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. That's it. Any other questions, Mr. Courier? Um, as, as I recall, I, I mean, appreciate having the survey done. As I recall, there was questions on the uh, the garage side of the driveway where, but it looks like. Uh, you know, because uh, some folks thought the borderline might be the fence and others thought it was like six feet over, but it looks like it's kind of somewhere in the middle. It's so, three and a half feet, yes. So uh, that's clarified now. And, yes. You know, it, it's interesting. I say it seems like an iron pipe was found, so it was kind of rediscovering the past here a little. Uh, I, I didn't really have a question. I just, you know, thought that, uh, you know, I, I appreciate having the survey done because it, it, it ends the questions of where the property line is. That, that's all. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Seeing none, you may have a seat. Thank you. Is there anybody here who wishes to speak in favor of this application? Is there anyone here who wishes to speak in, who has questions, concerns, or opposition to this application? If you would please step up, state your name and address for the record. Hello, good evening. My name's Catherine Robbins. Uh, excuse me, can you pull the mic closer, pull sure. it to you? Can you hear me? Yeah. Now. Can you hear me now? No. Um, hi. Um, I live at 43 Langholm Drive. Could you state your name again? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. My name is Catherine Robbins. I live at 43 Langholm Drive. I am the abutting the property owner and I am the most affected. I have concerns, or the concerns are, they are already way over the land usage limit. Number two, there is a history of not getting permits and needed, getting permits needed and following town regulations. Number three, our fear is that it will cause our properties to be devalued and hurt our financial investments per my realtor. Finally, as taxpayers, we pay to live in an R9 residential neighborhood. And we are requesting this variance be denied. I have letters from my neighbors, I think that we've already submitted, and also, um, I, um, I have those letters with me right now. I, I think you have them and you've no, seen. No, oh, you we don't? We have no They're on file from previous meetings. Oh, oh. I have them right no. here. So would, would you like them just 
to have them because if I just want to, are they the same ones we had from the last? Correct. Day? I have one from my realtor. I have, and uh, from we neighbors. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. think we've read them before. Do you have anything yeah. from Berkshire Hathaway? And also, I have something else that I would like to, um, um, if you're interested in seeing, um, I have some more information. Yeah, can I, can I grab, grab oh, sure. This would have been the July 20th, 2022 Berkshire Hathaway letter, which would have been in your previous package. Oh, yeah, but we don't have we it. Send it again. They already had it. Can you bring the microphone closer yeah, to you? Yeah, any conversation has oh. to be recorded. Oh, I'm sorry. I, he came to me, so I should have stayed here, right? Okay. So I, 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 I um, we have the letters that we didn't have before that uh, we'll pass around here. These letters would have been in a previous packet. We didn't want to send the same information twice. Oh, do you need my letters also, or do you need these letters? There's more here. Are they the same as what we have? No. I mean, I just. I don't remember. Can I bring them? Yeah, you can. Thank you. Mr. Neely, can you get those? There's more letters. Thank, Thank you very you. much. That's what you oh, spoke that's, to. Oh, that's my. I'm sorry. I'm not a speaker. Oh, one. I'm so sorry. One more. I'm so sorry. chair could read these into the record oh yeah while we're waiting for the other ones I will read these um, city of Nashua planning department 229 Main Street Nashua New Hampshire 03061 Ray 45 Langholm Drive pool cabana edition to whom it may concern and this letter was written July 20th, 2022. Being a realtor in Nashua, I understand the devaluation of property that can be caused by additions of abutting neighbors. In the case of 45 Langholm Drive, my client Catherine Robbins' property, 43 Langholm Drive, would be negatively impacted by the proposed, well, this says 16 by 16 pool cabana, but. Yeah, well, it's changed. That's a different size than what we're looking at. Um, this proposed addition does not comply with Land Use Code 190-264 Accessory, which states that accessory use by area shall not exceed 40% of that area of the total use of principal structure. 
I am not sure of the exact property lines, but this proposed addition will certainly infringe on the quiet enjoyment that Ms. Robbins is entitled to. The garage roof extension from 45 Langholme into her property shows their lack of consideration for their neighbor. If I can be of further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you for your consideration. Mary Z. Reed, Realtor. Second letter, hey Kathy, can you write a letter giving Shannon permission to put the cabana on your property line? Please, we need it for the building permit. I'm really sorry, Curtis, but I cannot do that. My home is my biggest investment and I cannot compromise it. How will this compromise it, Kathy? This is my daughter's last hope for a permanent place to call home. Call home. She has no other options. We really need this. Next letter, to the members of the Zoning Board of Adjustment. This email is in regard to the request by Shannon Melanson, 45 Langholm Drive, Sheet C, Lot 406, requesting a variance from Land Use Code Section 190-264 to increase the accessory use area to 78% by constructing a 16 by 16 pool cabana to the rear of an existing detached garage, R9 Zone Ward 9. As a neighbor with visual contact of the property, I received a notice of the public hearing and am responding through this email. I am emailing my opposition to this request for that variance. The land use codes for accessory use areas were established to prevent residential owners from overdeveloping their properties, often creating structures and property densities that can ultimately influence monetary values of surrounding properties in a given neighborhood. The property at 45 Langholm Drive has already exceeded the 40% permitted for accessory use by 22%. This request, request would add another 16% to its use for a total of 38% above the permitted use, as well as add another permanent structure, appropriate or not, to the property. Though I do not have a direct visual to all the rear of the property where the structure is proposed, I will see that structure. I have been in frequent contact with an abutting neighbor, have seen the entire backyard area at 45 Langholm Drive, and am very aware of her concerns. The established land use percentages are created to present, prevent residential properties from excessive structures and or usage, which could affect neighboring homeowners' financial investments in their own properties, as well as their quality of life. I am asking that my concerns be addressed to the board at the upcoming Nashua Zoning Board of Adjustment meeting, Tuesday, June 28, 2022, at 6.30 p.m. in City Hall. Right, case number two, and that the requested variance be denied. Respectfully submitted, Robert S. Whitmore, 42 Langholm Drive, Nashua, New Hampshire, 03062, June 27, 2022. To the Nashua Zoning Board of Adjustment, from Melvin J. Hebert, 44 Langholm Drive, Nashua, New Hampshire, 03062. Upon reviewing information from City of Nashua concerning land use variance requested for 44 Langholm, for 45 Langholm Drive, I wish to express the following concerns. The ordinance allows this property a total of 667.2 square feet of accessory use. The swimming pool, 512 square feet, and garage, 448 square feet alone total 960 square feet, already exceeding the allowance by 292.8 square feet. This property is already 22% over zoning allowance. I feel that allowing an additional 256 square feet to this total would set an undesirable precedent in which future neighborhood applicants could reference this variance, if approved for excessive land use for any reason. I oppose the approval of this variance. Thank you for the opportunity to express my view on this matter. Wen Zhao and Eusenia Liu, 4 Shetland Road, Nashua, New Hampshire, 03062, June 26, 2022. To members of the Zoning Board of Nashua, New Hampshire, we have just moved to this neighborhood in the past two months, and we are on the back and side abutting Shannon Melanson's property at 45 Langholm Drive. We can see the backyard of Melanson's property from our deck, and there is already so much clutter, it is an awful sight. We strongly oppose to granting Shannon Melanson this variance, and we have been informed that this property already exceeds the zoning laws. As abutters and new neighbors, we hope that the zoning members can uphold the codes of our neighborhood. Thank you.
May 17, 2022, City of Nashua Planning Department, 229 Main Street, Nashua, New Hampshire, 03061. Variance, oh, this is your letter. Yeah. So yeah. I don't need yeah. to read yeah. your letter. Yes. Thank you. Um, because you're here present. That is all the letters we have in opposition. Am I able to say one more thing? Um, time's up. Your time's up. Your time is up. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Um, the applicant now has five minutes to come up and respond to the comments that were just presented. Um, I was under the impression that this was for new business. Um, basically, everything that was just brought up is old business, just trying to reiterate it all. I, I don't see anything in there that's new other than her realtor saying that it's going to devalue her property. Um, my brother is a realtor, and they will pretty much tell you whatever you want to hear if you're going to go with them to sell your property. Um, if, they, if they want you to say that it's going to devalue your property, that's what they'll say. Um, me personally, I don't hold a lot of weight in a realtor saying that putting a 14 by 16 addition onto a back of a garage is going to severely depreciate her property value. It's going to maintain in line with an existing building. We're actually going to reside that existing building, so it's actually going to make it look better. It's going to increase the, the, the aesthetic look of the existing garage. So it's actually going to make it look better. And, and if I went out and, and talked to a realtor, I bet you I could get a realtor to say the exact same thing. It's going to make it look better. It'll help bring up the property values. So I don't hold a lot of weight in, in what the realtor is saying, and I'm hoping that you also will feel the same way. Um, as far as everything else that's on there, it's all just the same stuff that was already there. Um, we brought up new information about the survey. We brought up new information about taking down the awning. We brought up new information about decreasing the size. Uh, I'm hoping that that's enough to help allow us to have this variance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Robbins, does that answer the comments that you brought forward? You have an option to again come up, state your name and address. Hi, my name is Catherine Robbins at 43 Langholm Drive. I do not agree with anything that he has said in this matter. And as far as the overhang... You can all... Okay. Oh. It has to go with yeah. what? Okay. So as far as the overhang, it's a severely... Since the survey has been done, there's a severe encroachment problem. It is not six feet from my property. It's encroaching four feet into my property, <coughs> I was told. Okay, and I would appreciate, I don't think that that's like a, a weighing out situation where, oh, I'll take the, the overhang down. He has had so many code violations that he had to repair. Okay, but and we're, we can't, we can one only of the, address One of the violations was, was building the, the overhang without a permit. It's built without a permit. It was not in the formula, and now it is in the formula, and he's, he's saying that he wants to take it down now to have, like, bartering power or something to build this cabana, and that's all I have to say. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to close the public meeting and open the public hearing. Mr. Shaw. Except I think you meant it the other way around, but that's okay. <laughs> You closed the public hearing. Now, oh, I'm we're sorry. We're now in the public meeting. I meant to close the yeah. public <laughs> meeting and open the public hearing. Other way around. Other um, way around? Did I do it again? <laughs> I'm closing the public hearing. hearing and opening the public meeting. Very good. Thank you. Um, I, I mean, I continue to struggle with this case, but uh, I guess at least right now, and I'm kind of anxious to hear the rest of uh, fellow board members' comments, but I'm looking at something that's very little change overall in the um, accessory use area, ultimately, and I do believe that with the removal of that overhang and the replacement with the cabana, 
to me, it seems like a net positive uh, overall, and I think it will actually be a net positive to the abutter. Uh, I realize that you know there's there's uh, you know concerns there, uh, but that's that's really not something we are going to uh, weigh on weigh in on directly, and is not really in our purview. But so I guess I'm I'm feeling support, but I want to see. What the, what, the, what the rest of the discussion might lead to. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Boucher. Uh, as Mr. Shaw stated, um, I, I think there is, uh, there's, a, there's a positive gain here, again, um, with the removal of the overhang. Um, I truly agree that there is a, uh, the net difference um, from what's existing is going to be minimal. Um, again, I, we, we understand that there are some issues um, that were clarified with property line, with, with a survey that was done. Um, there's maybe some issues, again, that it, also I agree, it just, just falls with, outside of our purview. Um, again, looking at the total property um, and understanding that, uh, you know, again, the, there's, we, I think we spoke about this last time, there's, this is a detached garage. If this garage had been attached to the home, um, this would be a very different case. So um, I don't feel um, at this point um, that um, <coughs> I could not support the application because of the situation exists um, for the layout of the, the home in a separate garage. Um, uh, again, um, I, I did listen to and I read everything that was said about, you know, from the abutters and, and what they said about the property. Uh, again, I, I don't find any of those things, unfortunately, um, that would make me change my mind. Um, uh, you know, we're all individuals, we all live the way we live. Um, if, if there have been severe violations uh, in that property, uh, I know that city staff would have notified of the, us of that, if there's any issues there, um, that might have been germane to this case, which we didn't, we didn't have. So um, with that, um, I, I think it's reasonable what they're asking for, um, and uh, again, the concessions or the uh, the things that the the, 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 the um, applicant has done to uh, make this uh, more reasonable um, uh, variance you know, application for variance. So I'm going to support the application. Thank you, Mr. Courier. Um, I I. I guess I'm continuing to uh, struggle a bit with this application. One of the things I look at is, you know, the abutter, Ms. Robbins' property, you know, has kind of a small backyard tucked in right where the, you know, up, up against this fence. And so her corner property, you know, has a much smaller backyard. And, and my sense is that that is, Kind of unique to the situation and to have more activity right up against that where it's over the limit uh, I find that uh, that that I, I guess I find maybe I don't know what the right word is credibility or merit to the idea of you know or to the argument or complaint that this overage or more overage would be burdensome to the abutter on that side. We, I think as a board, often look at a detached garage and say, well, what if it was attached? You know, there was some discussion way back in the first case between, I think it was maybe one of the emails from Ms. Poirier, like one option they have is to attach the garage. And if they did that option, they get plenty of cabana space and it wouldn't be right up against the abutter. So I see that, uh, there's viable another option that's that's not so close to that side so I'm inclined not to support but I'm also looking to hear the other opinions here thank you mr. Lionel yeah now as many of the, the letters um, kept stating what, what the city code is in terms of, of allowed accessory dwelling use and accessory use and area and as has been stated, you know, the, the fact that there's a pool there and a detached garage uh, works against the applicant in terms of the area usage. But um, what they're asking for is a 2% uh, 
increase in accessory use. We frequently get people requesting uh, variances from the code, that's what we're here for, uh, for accessory use area when they have a pool or a detached garage or both. Um, so that doesn't particularly worry me. Um, I am happy to see that um, there was a, a, a survey done and that the applicant has agreed to remove the overhang that was uh, problematic. Uh, I, I don't think that it's, I think we did discuss an earlier about, you know, could it, the garage be attached and that seemed to be not feasible. So my inclination right now is to support the application. Thank you. Mr. Neely. <laughs> this, this, um, this was definitely an interesting case. Uh, there's pros and, and cons to both sides. Um, I appreciate um, <clears throat> the fact that you folks are willing to, to uh, take off the awning uh, and to really make that building look a lot better with the, the siding make it look like one contiguous uh, building. Um, that being said, I'm, I'm concerned that you know, a bunch of the neighbors here, in fact, most of the neighbors, in fact, in, including the neighbors behind, are lined up against this. I'm concerned that there is a, a realtor who took the time to write down uh, the information that this will negatively uh, affect the, the property value. And one of the, the five criteria we need to look at is, is will it adversely affect the property value of the surrounding parcels. Um, And I appreciate that the comments that the other board members have made. There, there's certainly some, some well thought out conversation here going uh, both ways. Um, if I, I would probably support the application um, because they are going to make that a much better looking building there to the side. And really it, it's going to clean this up quite a bit. Um, I was not here when, you, when these folks were here uh, a few months ago, so I didn't hear the original conversation. Uh, but based on, on what these folks are saying tonight and, and what we have approved here in the, the more recent past, um, I, think, I think I would lean in, in favor of, of passing this. Thank you. And um, I too am in support of this application. Going to what Mr. Lionel did re-reference, it's a 2% increase. Um, going to what Mr. Shaw and Mr. Nearly both said, and I think Mr. Boucher references the same. Um, <coughs> there, the awning overhang will come down. The property will be cleaned up. It will. They stated they're using. Um, they're going to put siding on the garage, so it's going to upgrade, and I don't think it's going to devalue. I think it might help increase value. And um, I'm sure that in having a conversation with a realtor, if you were to ask them, you know, how would that be, you take a building that is aged and worn and make it look new, does that not help? So that is why, some of the reasons why um, I am in agreement and I can fully support this application. Is there somebody who would care to make a motion? So. Mr. Lionel, thank you. I'd like to make a motion on behalf of the owner, Shannon Ellison, 45 Langholm Drive, Sheet C, Lot 406, requesting variance from Land Use Code Section 190-264 for accessory use area, 40% permitted, 75% existing, 77% requested to construct a 14 by 16 foot pool cabana onto the rear of the attached deta existing detached garage. This is the R9 zone, Ward 9. Uh, the board believes that the variance is needed to en enable the applicant's proposed use of the property. Given the special conditions of the property, uh, we discussed various ways that the applicant could try to achieve it by some other method, uh, but nothing was reasonably feasible for the applicant to pursue other than the variance. The board believes this is within the spirit and intent of the ordinance. Um, we have uh, testimony uh, pro and con about uh, a property value of surrounding parcels, but the majority of the board seems to feel that uh, this will not adversely affect the property values of surrounding parcels. Uh, if the board believes it is not contrary to public interest and substantial justice will be served. 
we make a stipulation that the existing awning on the side of the garage must be removed um, and the applicant has agreed to that. So I make a motion to approve this area variance with that stipulation. Thank you, Mr. Shaw, for your second. <coughs> Mr. Shaw, how do you vote? Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Mr. Funk. I'm sorry. <coughs> the stipulation was that the awning on the side must be removed. Did the board want to consider at a certain date or time within the construction process? Like, you know, prior to building permit. permit being issued? Um, I can have it down this weekend. We're going to be moving the fence out the three and a half feet that is technically our property over there. So it'll, the awning will be coming down as we move that fence. I mean, I can have that, that awning down this weekend if that's an issue. Is it, I'm going to ask the board, is this an issue or just stating the stipulation that it must come down? Yeah, I think uh, that the Okay, let, let's let, let me, issuance of a building let me uh, addition. Issuance of building permit. I think the best time is prior to issuance of a building permit. <coughs> for the yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, so that's so city fair. staff has suggested that uh, the, we add into the stipulation that the uh, awning must be removed prior to uh, issuance of the building permit for the cabana. Second. And you're okay with that? Okay. Thank you. So this is the amended motion. Thank you. Now, okay. Mr. Shaw, how do you vote? Mr. Shaw votes in favor. Mr. Boucher, how do you vote? Mr. Boucher votes in favor. Mr. Courier, how do you vote? Mr. Courier votes not in favor. Mr. Lionel, how do you vote? Mr. Lionel votes in favor. And myself, Marielle McKay, I also vote in favor. So that's four to one. Uh, Congratulations, your variance has been granted. As we have stated earlier, anyone has the opportunity to appeal any decision made by this board. They have 30 days with which to do so. Should you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please re-refer back to either Mr. Carter Falk or Ms. Kate Boyer in the planning department. And please remember the stipulation. And thank you for your presentation. Thank you for coming. and. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have no motions for a rehearing. We do not have an agenda. We don't have minutes. Um, we have minutes. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh, we do? We do have minutes. Oh, I must have. But I did read them. Yes, I remember reading them. Would. Oh, no, here they are. Yeah. Anybody have any comments about the minutes? Oh, Carter. Can you move your mic? Turn it off. Actually. I was just, it, oh. It's well, getting well, picked up in the. Oh, it's being. Okay. okay. So you'll let me know when it's at 30. Yes. Push the yeah, button. Push, yeah, push. Yeah. Kate, you have to mute yours too. You have to mute yours, yours too. Thank you. You're welcome, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> or beyond that. Oh, you can tell us the holiday season. <laughs> um, so did everyone get a chance to look over the minutes? Is there any comments or questions? I didn't see any edits needed. No, I did not. Okay. Then um, I just I guess I have a question for the board. Uh, the minutes there were no staples, uh, and I didn't know if maybe <coughs> there was a ran out there of was staples. a paper clip. Oh, there was mine right. was paper clipped. Oh, mine was paper clipped, so maybe it was a mixed bag. So I also <laughs> did not have a staple. I, I remember getting up and going to find a stapler. You probably had the yes. Yeah, I may. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> time to time. <laughs> well, you know, this the city has to cut back on expenses. Yeah. <laughs> The soon as it'll, be, it'll be four pages on each sheet of paper. It'll be like, you know, the super like small 50% sign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay. Um, Thank you. Thanks, everybody. You also. Thank you.
Okay, how about, I'll Second. make a motion to accept the minutes as presented. Second. Mr. Lionel, thank you for your second. Mr. Shaw. Uh, Mr. Shaw votes in favor. Mr. Courier. Mr. Courier votes in favor. Mr. Boucher. Mr. Boucher votes in favor. Mr. Lionel. Mr. Mr. Lionel votes in favor. And myself, Mary Ellen McKay, I also vote in favor. Um, that's, I guess that's the extent of the business for this evening. Move to adjourn. Yes, sir. 720. And happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving, so, everybody. Uh, what was the time? Thanksgiving at 720. 720. Seven, five, seven, five. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Well, how are you feeling? I still was nervous.